In today's cartoon story joke, we will tell you a story about heaven and hell. In this hilarious joke, we first must stumble our way through human understanding and science as we know it. So, strap yourselves in and don't click out, because the joke, after understanding all the facts, is worth the while. But let's first delve into the afterlife as we understand it. This holds different experiences for different people and different religions. But here is what we know from science and human experience. We will briefly delve into people having near-death experiences and coming back to tell us their tales, to scientists investigating the marvel of consciousness and eternity. Many near-death experiences have been actual short-death experiences, starting with a sense of being outside of yourself, seeing a light, and for some it's like a tunnel. Then there is the calmness and the feeling of being at peace with yourself. The general opinion of those who have experienced this was that they did not want to come back or be awakened. This is a common theme and yet to be clearly explained and understood by science. Now let's touch on consciousness, the subject scientists all think about, wish they could explain, and is the holy grail of the future understanding of death as we know it. Did you know that quantum physics shows that the smallest particle we know of know when we are trying to observe it? Yes, it behaves differently when we try to spy on it than when we don't. The long history of the double slit experiment proved this, but the best of brains we have today still cannot really explain it. It boils down to this. Reality only exists in the act of observation. Wow, what a mouthful. Let's call it a very small part of consciousness. Now let's delve into eternity. How old will these small particles with some form of consciousness last? Scientists know with 90% accuracy that an electron should be around for at least 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power of 28 years. That is 66 with 27 zeros behind it, years old. Talk about an eternity. So, our bodies are made up of small particles with consciousness that will last for eternity. Magic, don't you think? Now wrap yourselves in a nice blanket for the joke. So funny it will blow these facts from above to smithereens. So, for many a millennium, there was this impenetrable wall that separated heaven and hell. However, after all this time, this wall started to develop small cracks. St. Peter was called to investigate the emergence of these cracks. After his inspection, he immediately called a meeting with the Public Works Department of Hell to discuss the situation. It was the view of St. Peter that the cracks can only be caused by the tremendous heat that is being generated in Hell on the other side of the wall. The Public Works Department from Hell promised to have a response as soon as they met with Hell's structural engineers. The following week, St. Peter's received the response from Hell stating that in their opinion, the cracks in the wall between heaven and hell was not due to any heat being generated in hell, but rather the effect of the difference in temperatures between the two sides of the wall. The letter also stated that the issue should immediately be brought to the attention of the Public Works Department of Heaven, as it was their view that heaven is responsible for the repair of the wall due to its mild climate. The letter then ends by saying that should heaven not repair the cracks in the wall within 14 days, then hell will be forced to start legal proceedings against heaven to get the walls repaired. St. Peter proceeded to instruct the Public Works Department of Heaven to commence with the repair to the wall at once. However, the Director General of the Public Works Department in Heaven protest the instruction of St. Peter. As we have no budget to repair the wall, and we know very well that the cracks are generated by the heat from hell, why should we fix these cracks? The Director General then asked St. Peter why he don't put up a fight against the response from hell. St. Peter's reply came as a bit of shock. If this goes to court, we will not be able to win the court case against the Public Works Department of Hell. But why not ask the Director General? It is clearly because of their heat. St. Peter then explained that in hell, they have the best lawyers from earth on their panel. And to put it bluntly, we have never had a lawyer. That made it into heaven. 
If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.